Yo, I'm Julius. And I'm Brittany. And we're the Crane Couple. And we're back here at Knott's Berry Farm here in Yay. Buena Park, California for an exclusive media preview of the Boysenberry Festival, Yum. which is back and bigger than ever. Lots of new Boysenberry themed food, drinks, treats, merch, some other things too. Yeah. So come join us. Let's go. I love that. And eat all you can are two different things, but if you can combine them as close together, it's possible. I was talking with the nice stilt men that are dancing. Oh, yeah? They gave us permission to eat everything. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, right, where, buddy, do where do we, we start? start? Oh, there's sushi. It's a mini crab roll sushi with boysenberry aioli. Yum. That's good. Thank you very much. Ooh. Oh, Jelly wanted to point out. Brittany, your nails came out so nice. Oh, well, it's, it's right. true. we don't need to look at the, the sushi. We need to look at my nails. This is look way more that. important. Yeah, this is the, the mini crab sushi with a boysenberry aioli. Want to give it a shot? Do you want to give it a shot? Oh, you're going to have me try <laughs> yeah, it, Yeah, huh? I'm not the sushi person. All right, I'll give it a shot. I'll try this one. This looks like it has a good balance of all the things. Crab sushi. It's sushi Boysenberry time. aioli. That's fun. Is it good? The aioli makes it a little sweet, but not too sweet. Oh. Adds a nice little like flavor to it. There's a little bit of imitation crab and stuff. It's like a kind of like a California roll right here. But just a little drizzle of the aioli. That's kind of a thick sauce right there. It seems like a nice size bite. Yeah, it's not too boysenberry y. I know that's not really a term. But especially for sushi, you're gonna be like, oh no. All you would How taste is the boysenberry. Is it, you know? I like it. Brittany, let's find something that you can have. Okay, what do we got here? We got chicken, so chicken dumplings. Those chicken dumplings. Give it a shot. Okay, fine. So chicken dumplings with a boysenberry wonton rice pilaf. Wow. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a really big portion of food. A big portion. This is a lot of rice. <laughs> do you guys see all this? Yo, that's more than Panda Express gives me. Looks good. Rice. Smells good. I'm just gonna bite it. Hmm. Ooh. You guys see inside that? Wow. That's a lot of chicken. That's pretty stuffed for a dumpling, huh? Is there anything else inside there? Is it is mainly chicken? Is it a little bit of veg or things I like think that? I it's, it's all chicken with like the tiniest bit of veg in here, which is perfect for me. <laughs> it's true. Really um, do like her some chicken. But it's like the inside, because of the amount of chicken, it's like super, super savory. It's like, bam, chicken. But then the outside, the sauce is the sweeter part and same with like the wonton bit. Mm. So it's like perfect mix of sweet and savory in there. Mm. This is pretty good. I think so. Yep. Man, it smells good, I'll tell you. <laughs> mm. You can't go wrong with just like chicken. Oh, that looks awesome. All beef meatballs and boysenberry barbecue sauce on some mash. Yum. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Was that? Do you want, do you want your own right Oh, now? no, it's okay. There's plenty of food, but thank you. Guys, you get two big balls. Meatballs, that is. When you get the boysenberry meatballs here. Yeah. Look at the size of those things. Look at, look at the size of these balls, though. These are some of the biggest balls I've ever seen. I mean. They do be pretty big though. Yo, I just gotta say, I could smell the barbecue sauce and the barbecue sauce still smells so good. Oh, heck yeah. It looks like you can see the little bits of the, the like potato skin. So, so it's, it's not just like a powdery mix, I think. Yeah, there's definitely some lumps in here to show that they're definitely homemade. Mm. Um, but they're not like crazy big skins. Cause I don't, I'm not a big like potato skin person on my, my mashed potatoes, but seems pretty good to me. It's like perfect size. Should I just like... You just put the meat in your mouth? Pretty good? Yo. Woo. That's some tasty meat though. It is drenched in barbecue sauce. Not even the inside. Really? Mm -hmm. Can I see a little bit? Let's see if we can get the shot at the inside. Oh yeah. Dang, that is a thick meatball. So normally, um, I'm not big on meatballs because it's just kind of like a lot of meatball. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, they normally don't have a lot of flavor. Yeah, I can see that. You know, it's, so it's kind of like, mm, 
like, I'll have like half a meatball, but I don't really like a giant one like this. But this is like perfect on the inside. Virtual bite. Yeah, whole you thing. Want, yeah, yeah, whole, whole thing? thing? Uh -huh. Okay, whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Right though? It's really good. I'm not a meatball person and I would eat these all the time. Oh my god. That's actually really good. I'm not just having plenty no, right here. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not lying. Oh, that's the open faced chicken sandwich on a donut. Corn dog. <laughs> There's a literal pork rib sitting on that sandwich. Two foot nachos. Two feet of nachos. Pot roast with boysenberry mash. That's a lot of dessert. So good. It looks really good. That's amazing. Gosh. So good. Yeah. Doing great. This, this food looks amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, that looks so cool. Yum. That looks awesome. Is this all food with berries in it? It's all got it, some sort of boysenberry it has some twist. Some sort of stuff. boysenberry in it. Like, I mean, technically the mac and cheese, the boysenberry is inside the ketchup. Oh, dessert! All these desserts, like this cheesecake funnel cake. No, 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 no. Boysenberry jam cookie witch with boysenberry soft serve. Give to me. Yum. It's a Rocky Road brownie, but with extra boysenberry. I would say that too. Heck yeah. Fun bun bites with boysenberry glaze. Oh, fun bun bites? There's fun bun bites. That's right. <laughs> the fun buns exist still, guys. Kind of. Which dessert would you choose first? And why is it the mini fun buns? Oh, I don't know. It's tough. Like. Maybe the Rocky Road brownie. It's it's between the Rocky Road brownie, the 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 Cookie Witch soft serve. Yes. Or the Moose chocolate cake. Yo, that cake is really cute though. It's really cute though, right? Yeah, it's got it's got a really nice look to it. And it's got it. chocolate in it. Yeah. Somehow there's chocolate in there. Somehow. It's all painted up real nice. Here's the, the vegan and vegetarian area. So they have plant-based meatballs Ooh. and boysenberry barbecue sauce. Sounds good. And veggie chili with boysenberry croutons. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then there's more stuff on the side there too. And then there's the an chickenless sandwich. <laughs> well, let's so go it's not for real it. chicken. You want to try? You want to try one of them? Yes. Open face sandwich. For those who prefer vegetarian options, there are actually some yep. nice vegetarian options. So that is again, it's a nice chicken, not Chick chicken, chicken. But I call it chicken list. Yes. Yeah. Plant based <laughs> chicken patty, arugula, and a boysenberry jam to top it all off. Oh yeah. Looks real good, right? Get a bit with the jam. I don't know. It's a little in there. Yes. You gotta bite more. I can't. The bun is too big. Just unhinge your jaw. Pretty good. Kind of tastes like chicken. Kind of tastes like chicken. That's interesting. We haven't had too many like plant-based like meat substitutes. There's a lot of flavoring in the the chicken patty. Oh. Huh. Um, I get a lot of the breading flavor too. It doesn't doesn't just taste like like normal breadcrumbs. Like they add some seasonings on it. Let's see if I can get that jam now. That makes it sweeter. Really? I mean, it is boysenberry jam, so it's pretty concentrated. That's fun though. That's something a little different. Like uh, Kate and some others saying that they're not even vegetarian, but they would try it. You know? We've had some stuff like that at other places. Yeah. And it's been pretty decent. It's not bad. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. I think if you give that to a lot of people, most people wouldn't realize right away that it's actually plant -based. Yeah, not right away. You wouldn't realize. You would just be like, oh, okay, this is like chicken. Mm hmm. A it's a bread. lot of bread. I will say that. <laughs> it's a very it is a lot of bread. We still have a few more tasting stations to share. Oh, and we got Snoopy. What a styling boy. Yo, purple is totally Snoopy's color. It really is. Yeah. Not biased or anything. No, right? not biased. No. Boom. Yo, we got mac and cheese next. Oh, they have mac? It's chili mac. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is Brittany's happiness right here. <laughs> Cowboy chili with mac and cheese and Fritos. Thank you Thank very you. much. The cowboy chili with mac and cheese and Fritos, guys. Yum! Look at this. I'm hyped. I'm I'm curious to know if it'll beat the meatballs. I don't know if that's possible. That. You see that steam? Oh, oh man! 
pretty good. How's the cheesiness on the Mac? Mm. I got a Frito there. <laughs> <laughs> the boysenberry is kind of lighter in the chili. Really? Yeah, but it's enough to make it as more sweeter chili. The whole combination is just like warm gooeyness. It's comfort just, food. It's cozy. Like I could just, oh, there's actually, there's boysenberries in here. Oh, the actual berries? Not... Oh, there is. I thought that was just like a bean or something. No, I thought it was too. Yo, that's pretty good. Right? Oh, that's a hearty bite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good chili. It's pretty good. I don't think it beats the meatballs though. Oh, here's the lemonade. Blackberries, loganberries, and red raspberries. Oh. I want to point out, um, I overheard the, the guy talking about it. Somebody asked, why is it deconstructed? And that's because a boysenberry is made up of so many different berries. Yes. So that's why it's deconstructed because it's made of blackberries, loganberries, and raspberries, which are three berries that are inside the boysenberry. This is the deconstructed lemonade. I'm not, I'll, I'll preface this by saying I'm not normally a lemonade person, but. Normally not. I actually don't, I can't really think of a time where I've seen you drink any lemonade. pretty good actually. Smooth. Probably because I love the sweetness. <laughs> There's a lot of berry in there, yes. you know? Yes. Heck yeah. Boysenberry or chocolate. Ooh, that smells good. Fancy. Ooh, that's pretty good. Have so you like, had a lot of horchata? I haven't had a lot of horchata. Is oh. there cinnamon in it? Yes, there's a cinnamon. Okay, I can definitely Cinnamon's taste the component. cinnamon. Um, it's not as sweet as that lemonade that I just had. So it's it's kind of lighter, but it's still nice. Oh, this is good. Real. This is cozy. Oh. That's the word today, cozy. It's very cozy right <laughs> yeah. here. Deconstructed lemonade. Cheers to all of you. That is sweet. See, yeah, it's very sweet. It's so very much lemonade. Uh, what includes? Uh oh. Oh, it's Wiggles. It's Wiggles. Come in, the wiggling. How oh the Wiggles? Goodness. I got a move. Look at that. We got a front row seat. Don't worry about my drink. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have the horchata on the side. Okay, here. That's horchata. Yeah. Not too strong as far as the boysenberry element's concerned. Just, yeah, just, just double fist the drinks. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Hey, wait. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Tasty? No, it was terrible. <laughs> it's a Rocky Road boysenberry brownie. I want this one because it's got more marshmallows on it. It's got a lot of marshmallow. Look at this. It smells chocolatey. That's a serious brownie. These marshmallows look so funny. Yeah, they look kind of like, they look very melty. Let's dig in. Pretty good. That's thick. <laughs> that is thick. As the oh, jelly was saying, boy. it look thick, it tastes thick. Mm -hmm. We got a nice mm. bite to it. Is it like more of a chewy, fudgy brownie? Yes. I was trying to think of the right words. It's very much a fudgy brownie. Mm. It's like very thick. Here, you want to try it? Sure, I'll give it a shot. It's moist. I think the addition of the boysenberry is like a, like a little bit of a jam. Yeah, it's pretty good. Even with the boysenberry, I will say because it's the jam, um, I did just bite into one of like the jam seeds. Yeah. So as me for a texture person, eh, but it all works out in the end. This is the boysenberry pie bar. It's like you know sometimes you want pie, but you don't have the little pie server thing, so you just you yeah, have a so bar. Yeah. So now you have a bar. Yeah. It's really really convenient. Ooh. Oh. Oh, good. That is pretty sweet. But I feel like a pie should be pretty sweet. You might like this, Brittany. Really? I, I, I think you might like this. You, you guys might not realize, Brittany's not actually a big fan of pies. I'm not a pie person. No, no not really at all. I've yet to find a pie that she really enjoyed. 
but you might like this one purely off of sweetness. Ooh. The texture has just like the perfect amount of crumble for me. Like the little, the, the bottom crust. No soggy bottom. No soggy bottom. Mm -hmm. Nice. The, the little pie bits on the top. Nice texture. And there's, I feel like there's just the right amount of the boysenberry filling. Oh. Do you ever have like a pie and it's just like the bottom crust is too thick or a little too thin? It throws off the whole ratio. This feels right. Ah. Mm -hmm. The boysenberry mousse chocolate cake. Which one do you grab? This one is calling me. Chocolate mousse boysenberry cake. Look at how beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's very purple. I like that. Oh, dang. Oh. I thought it was going to be more cake. But it is a mousse cake. So it is, it is a mousse, so. It's very boysenberry. The mousse. Mm. It's like 99% boysenberry in this mousse. It was very sweet. Super sweet. Is it too sweet even for you? It's close. I'm going to oh. try it with the cake, though. Okay. Maybe the cake will kind of mellow it out a bit. So I got distracted because there was actually some, like, crunchier bits in there. Oh. I think they put, like, mini chocolate chips in the cake part. The cake helps it kind of mellow out because the cake itself isn't overly sweet. So the mousse kind of has the very sweetness part and then the cake kind of brings it back. Oh no. I think the brownie was my favorite part though. It's a brownie, I mean, you can't go wrong with the brownie. No, it's pretty good. I think I actually like the pie more than the brownie. Yeah? Some of the nice boysenberry things. There's some to-go boysenberry brownies. Oh, cute. A little boysenberry curd, brownie cookies. white chocolate cookies. There's some boysenberry creme brulee coffee, which is cool. Oh. Next to some cute coffee mugs. Some iced tea, I bet that's tasty. Oh, wow. There's some of the jams. Lovely uh, shirt right here. I like that shirt. Heck yeah. Another one. Back for the boysenberries. Boysenberry habanero brisket beef jerky. Yo, that sounds good. Fantastic. And then we got more spreads of boysenberry bacon, Ooh. a boysenberry balsamic grilling glaze, and a boysenberry ketchup. Oh, what? 25 calories per tablespoon. Is that it? Yo, I would have that. I would totally have that. Well, that's all going to be around the park. Oh my so gosh. That's awesome. We got boysenberry sangria. Yep. And boysenberry and oh. sweet tea with vodka. Sangria and a sweet tea with vodka. Yes. Ding. Mm. Looks good. Shall you be the one to indulge, Brittany? All right. Go for it. <laughs> Brittany, where are you going? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Jeez. This one's dangerous. Brittany's been wanting to try this mm. boysenberry sangria for a while. And it's really good because it's got like a little orange slice in there. So you get a lot of the citrus from the orange. It's not bad. Oh. Whew. It's really cold. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. My That's your big takeaway. My right now. <laughs> Just have more fruit, Brittany. Catherine says it's healthy. It's good for you. <laughs> Just... It might feel like a little more watered down anyways. Mm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It does kind of have a little bit of a watered down taste. Yeah, it might be because it's kind of the end of like the event Yeah, thing. so it might be so that. There's not a... put a lot of ice. But I also, it, it, you know, if you, if you like having some drink or drinks and you're old enough and responsible, the wine and the sangria, good. Well, guys, that's it for our immediate preview of Knott's Berry Farms Boysenberry Festival. Now, at the time of filming this, it didn't actually open the festival yet, but it does run from March 18th through April 24th. There's all this good food that we showcase, plus much more. One more time, huge thanks to Knott's for having us here. We've been doing media for them for several years now, and it's always been a good time. Thank you, Knott's. This has been some very tasty food, and I am excited for the Boysenberry Festival. Get the meatballs. Meatballs. Get the meatballs. And brownies. And the brownies. Get a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, 
Make sure to give this video a like and comment. Let us know how much you enjoyed all the sights and sounds and smells of Knott's Poisonberry Festival. Yum. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our little YouTube channel. We know we haven't posted a lot lately due to reasons, but we're coming back in a big way. And you may not realize this, but we actually created all of this live. Yay! That's right. All of this was actually live streamed as well as taped and then put together for all these audiences on Twitch. So go ahead and give us a follow on Twitch. Do it. If you want to be a part of all this and have a say and like, hey, I want to see you guys try this. I'd love to see you guys do that. Yep. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed very much and we'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, it's almost like they're professionals. Hi, tubes. I thought I was watching a long YouTube video. The one take wonder. Thanks, Mystic. Sometimes it works out like That's that. That's why I let Joyce talk. Yeah, next time. I, no, I'm, Brittany, I'm you, you should do it. it. You do it. No? No, okay.